about fractions and fairy tales, fourth grade to explore Florida and the world around us, and finally to fifth grade where trailblazers of today are the leaders of tomorrow. Woven along the DeSoto Trail path, special area classes such as art, guidance, technology challenge us to think in innovative ways. And music, PE, and media, they all they enhance our learning. We're also thankful to our many business partners who, and recognize them in four beautiful panels, which were completely done by our FSU art intern, Ms. Shepherd. So congratulate Ms. Shepherd. She did an awesome, awesome job. On that. We would like to dedicate our technology panel to Ms. Cookie Zimmer, who cannot be with us today, our beloved retired technology teacher. And we would also like to um, dedicate the reading panel to Ms. Kelly, who is our soon-to-be-retired uh, media specialist. So those two panels are for the, our special teachers that we will keep in our hearts. These panels have been a labor of love by a dedicated committee of teachers and parent volunteers with the support from Mrs. Keltner and Dr. Poole. As always, we appreciate it. I would like to thank and recognize the individuals involved in this project, including the parent volunteers, Cynthia Saturnino, who is actually the head designer and painter. Could you give her a round of applause, please? She's right up front. Krista Hellman, she is up front also with her sweet boy. Give her a cheer. She's very much appreciate her help. Randy and Tara Lent, as always, out here till 6.30 last night. Teachers, Mrs. Dillon, give Mrs. Dillon a cheer. Mrs. Hurst painted many murals as well. And Miss Owens, give them a big round of applause. Too. who did an awesome job. Our former um, FSU art intern, Ms. Miller, also had a hand in these. Is Ms. Miller in the audience today? I did not see her come, but we'll give her a round of applause. She helped also. 
special feature. And this, what you see at being unveiled, was created by Mr. John Birch, who is here with us today. He's a famous Tallahassee Chainsaw artist, and he will have a few words for you in just one moment. to do what I do. I didn't start it until about 17 years ago. So that uh, lets you know, always keep an eye open of what you may be able to do. I have a great appreciation for the uh, murals that were inside. I can't paint and I can't draw. My lovely niece can, but not me. So uh, this piece of wood, I got it a little over eight years ago, I believe. Uh, it was cut down. I consider myself a recycler among many things, but especially live oak trees. Uh, the guy had nothing to do with it. I saw it, and he dropped it off at my house. Um, I've always been wondering what I could do for it. I went around. I needed to find a dragon tree one time, and the dragon wasn't in this piece. But uh, after <clears throat> looking around, and I talked with a number of the, the teachers, administration, the art teacher, and we came up with some ideas, and I found out, I did not know it, that the space shuttle is a big thing in with you guys. That's great, exploring. So uh, we discussed, you know, the shuttle, the trailblazing into the future. That's what you kids are going to do. You're going to be taking care of us in another 25 or 30 years. Remember us. We are nice to you. <laughs> but also, you can't see it from where you're at, but on the back side, you can look at it later, is DeSoto's a representative of DeSoto's ship. Okay, so that's where it started at. <clears throat> He's coming across. We've got the star, uh, constellation Orion and the Big and Little Dipper over here, as well as the, uh, the space station that we have, just to show that we are going into the future. That doesn't mean we have to leave, but we're, you know, we, it doesn't have to be up into the Earth. We can, excuse me, up in space. We certainly are going to be exploring uh, down into the, into the ocean. If anyone wants to be an oceanographer, uh, there's many things that you guys can trailblaze into. Uh, is there any questions? Yes? Any questions? Anybody? Yes. How long did it take? How long it took? It took about a month and a half of carving. I used. Um, I used three of my four chainsaws in doing it. I uh, also used a couple tools that are um, electric tools, what's called an angle grinder, and there's a man here in town who makes an app, uh, a tool that fits on it that is a chainsaw chain. So imagine a drill with a chainsaw chain on it. It's a very interesting tool. Um, any, another question? Yes? Um, what is the thing that the rocket is on? What is the thing the rocket ship is on? Well, this is representing the trail that you're blazing up into the future. And it's going around Saturn. So we didn't know the shuttle could go around Saturn, but we have faith that it would make it. <laughs> yes? How much of the tree do you 
Uh, this is as far as how much of the tree I got. <coughs> um, this is as tall as it was, okay? And this actually is a limb that was coming out. That's why I, re I believe it is plenty strong enough. You aren't allowed to climb on it, but uh, <laughs> that's basically what I got. I removed, originally it probably weighed about two and a half tons. So I removed a lot of wood from it. Um, and it made a lot of firewood. We recycled that also. Any other questions? Yes, Miami Dolphin. Very good question. Uh, how did I make the black part? Well, I wanted the lettering to stand out, so I figured I wanted to put some coloring into it, or in this case, black, uh, representing space. Uh, that is simply spray painted onto it. After I spray painted a couple of coats on it, that's when I cut the lettering into it, and then I polyurethane it. I'm going to be putting one more coat of polyurethane on, and it should last for a while, and it can be refinished. Uh, with the polyurethane. Yes. Well, uh, it took the good Lord about 75 years to make the tree, so that was quite a while. But uh, it took me about a month and a half to do this. Easy, yeah, easy. Yes. I'm sorry? What is it called? Trailblazing into the future. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We'll come back. Yes, you had one. Oh, it weighs a lot. I would say about, I thought it would only be about a thousand pounds, but I put it on my truck, and my truck all of a sudden looked like it was about to take off, because it was, <laughs> the front was a lot higher than the back of it was. So it weighs, I would say it weighs close to a ton. Yes. Well, it says trailblazing into the future. Yes. No, it took a long time to do. Okay, any questions in the back? I see a girl with a pink sleeve up. How many statues have you made? Oh, um, well, I believe this is number 11 for actual schools. Uh, there are smaller pieces in the schools, but um, there are 11 large carvings, and I've been doing this for 17 years, uh, so I've done hundreds of them. I don't know about a thousand, but I certainly have done hundreds and hundreds of them. One more question. Yes. Oh, how I got into my truck. I uh, have a great appreciation for uh, people who understand leverage, and so I've done some reading on it, and I was able to lift the thing up. Well, maybe not completely with my arm, but I was able to lift it up, back my truck up under it, and pull it away. Here she is. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. We'd also like to thank Mike Eckberg from Ready Mix for the concrete, Bill Armstrong from Armstrong Tree Service uh, for bringing it out, getting it out here, and of course, Randy Lent for making this all happen and being out here until all hours last evening. So thank you, everyone. I'm going to turn it back to Ms. Keltner and our special guest. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give a round of applause for the artist, John Burke, one more time. Thank you. to past, present, and future trailblazers, and you are a part of that family because you always say, once a trailblazer, always a trailblazer, right? <laughs> so when you come back and visit us, when you're grown and you haven't forgotten us, you're right, uh, you'll come back and see this. And remember that you are here today to celebrate Florida's 500th birthday. Viva Florida 500. Go trailblazers. And we're ready to go. Mr. Crow is ready to have this time to speak to you. Thank you, Ms. Keltner. Thank you, Dr. Poole. Thanks uh, for the wonderful in invitation to this wonderful, wonderful event. Uh, good morning, boys and girls. Morning. You look fantastic. I love the symbols. I love the seal. I love the alligators. I love the manatee. You guys look great. Your enthusiasm is a little cool out this morning, but it's a fantastic day. I'm so proud of all of you. Uh, this is a wonderful event, and I'll tell you, Mr. Birch, uh, the, your, our artist here today, I've worked with him over the years at Gilchrist. If you ever the Grizzly in front of Gilchrist or the 
Many of you will be Mustangs at Mumford one day. You'll have to see the Mustangs in front of Mumford that he did just like this. And I never understand how he's an amazing artist, how he sees these wonderful pieces of art come out alive out of these trees. Somehow you have that vision to be able to see that. It's just amazing. You've done another wonderful job. Uh, Miss Keltner's acknowledged and thanked a lot of people here today, but you've got an amazing principal at an amazing school. Let's give Mrs. Keltner a wonderful round of applause. She's a wonderful principal. And I have to tell you something personal. We were beginning teachers together, and I won't say how many years ago might date us, but we were teachers together and have been friends ever since. And she's a wonderful friend, but an amazing principal. And this is an amazing school, an A-rated school, a, a high-performing school, one of the best schools in the state of Florida. You've got great teachers, you've got great parents, great community, obviously, partnerships, and you ought to be proud and commended. So congratulations today. What a wonderful event. Thanks for the invitation. Thank you. artwork okay so we're going to take very good care of it we're going to have maybe a get some hay or um, flowers down here we're going to make it real pretty so we're going to take care of it and be respectful of it in the future now you do see some carved initials in the back those are mr birch's initials and those are the only initials we want to see on the carving okay so let's take good care of it because we know we train you to be champion trailblazers and champion trailblazers treat things with respect all right miss salis's we're ready to dismiss. All right. We will maybe start with our pre-K and kindergartners. You are more than welcome to come down the sidewalk here and view. And if you'd like to take a quick step, step, we can step out of the way here and maybe you can go around so you can get a 360 degree view of our new piece of artwork. And again, thank you to Ms. Salison, all of our special guests, Ms. Kelly, uh, for putting this event together, Ms. Hurst. All right, so we have a great day.